home uh, in Michigan, uh, where there are a lot of people who were for Hillary Clinton uh, during uh, the primary. Uh, you know, it, it was clear, or the McCain people will tell you, one of the reasons they put Sarah Palin on the ticket was an effort to reach out to those uh, Hillary Clinton supporters that just didn't like Barack Obama very much. Uh, do you think that she is making inroads there? Is what she has been saying, is that going to appeal? Is that going to bring Hillary Clinton voters uh, uh, to, to, uh, Barack, uh, to John McCain? Well, it hasn't done it so far. You know, she's been saying the words maverick change, but they haven't. I mean, this is the whole point of that ad, too. They don't they don't get it. I mean, the, in Michigan, we want to hear what the change is. It can't just be a, a slogan. You can't just say you're a maverick. But what are you going to change? Are, is your trade policy going to be different than George Bush's? No, they haven't said they're going to be different. In fact, John McCain goes to South and Central America to proclaim that he's the inveterate free trader. Well, in Michigan, those are fighting words because we've lost so many jobs to other countries because of a failure to enforce the trade policy. Is your health care plan going to be different than George Bush's? The health care plan that he's rolled out is the same health care plan that George Bush rolled out two years ago that was dead on arrival because it taxes the benefits. Is your, is your tax policy going to be any different? Because certainly we've lost 159000 thousand jobs just in the past month it ain't working and we know that in Michigan this is why she has not had the impact on women or men in Michigan and I and I don't and he hasn't either they've decided to pull out of Michigan just in the same way that George Bush frankly has pulled out of Michigan over the past eight years you got to speak to what people care about and the change that they want to see all right. Well, we've uh, pretty much set the stage for the argument here uh, and the discussion. Let's take a one minute break. And we're back now with our elected officials from uh, four key states. Uh, let me go back to you, Heather Wilson, uh, in New Mexico. Does John McCain have to change the subject from the economy now? And is that why uh, the McCain camp has obviously decided to go after Barack Obama now and try to make this a referendum on Barack Obama? Is that what they're trying to do here? I think there are big differences. There are big differences between these candidates on things related to the economy. Senator Obama has voted to increase taxes, including on folks making $42,000 a year uh, or more. And, and I think that's the wrong way to go when the economy is soft. I think also when, and I, I agree with Roy, uh, Senator McCain called me as well on the, on the financial bill. And, so you, and you said, think you know, he actually really made important. a difference? You, you think out. he made a difference here? I, I, I do. He came, he came back in. I think Secretary Paulson was not doing well. He was not getting the support he needed and, and presenting the plan very well. I mean, he wanted a blank check for $700 billion with no oversight. And I think both Roy, Roy's leadership made a, made a difference. But Senator yeah. McCain saying, OK, this is important. We need to get engaged on this. And he has influence, particularly with House Republicans. Uh, Senator Feinstein. Well, I don't see it that way at all. Uh, Senator McCain kind of parachuted in. Uh, he said he was halting the campaign. He was not going to do the debate. He plunged in at a time of very sensitive negotiation. The negotiation fell apart at that moment, and they had to begin again. Uh, on the other hand, Barack Obama stated very clearly principles that would be needed to put forward an agreement. Uh, one was protecting the taxpayer, seeing that this money uh, would be recovered by the taxpayer and, if possible, even with a profit. Secondly, no golden parachutes. Third, uh, there must be independent oversight. And finally, that the F FDIC, the Federal Deposit Insurance, uh, should be raised from $100,000 to $250,000. He was resolute. He was steady. Uh, in, in contrast, I thought John McCain was very erratic in how he behaved. Now, I can't say he did or didn't call members. Uh, Obama called members as well. But I think the behavior is indicative of the kind of gamble that he took at, uh, at a very precise and difficult time. Uh, that didn't work out. And then he okay. parachuted back out and restored the campaign let, and did the debate. Let me go back to Congressman Blunt. Uh, do you think that uh, Sarah Palin rehabilitated herself? We suddenly see her as in this whole new role. Do you, as a Republican, believe she's qualified to be? 
president uh, should something untoward. I, I do. I think she's as qualified to be president as Senator Obama is, and I think after some time as vice president, she's going to be extremely ready if she has to take over uh, as president. You know, Senator Clinton said that at the debate she was that uh, Senator that the Governor Palin was confident she was engaging. I think the American people saw somebody that was not business as usual in Washington, and they don't want business as usual. They're ready for change. Uh, and uh, Tina Fey does a great job talking about this maverick term, but the truth is they truly are two individuals who are really have, have the, the background to, to change this town. John McCain has been an advocate of change uh, on this, uh, this financial crisis. He was the guy out there uh, while uh, Democrats were saying the G these government agencies have plenty of regulations. He's been out there for years uh, as a pain in the side of these agencies uh, advocating more regulation, more change. We could have stopped a lot of this problem from happening uh, three or four years ago. The president was asking for that, but the Congress wouldn't deliver. John McCain was one of the leading advocates for that kind of oh, that regulation. Uh, Governor Granholm, uh, you're an elected official. You're a woman, uh, like Sarah Palin. Some people say there are different uh, standards set uh, when a woman runs. Uh, do you think that uh, Sarah Palin is being given a fair shake? I was thinking back, a lot of Democrats were talking about how Sarah Palin was mugging to the camera, how she winked a lot. Uh, how do you, uh, I wonder how uh, Republicans would have reacted had Hillary Clinton been there and been winking at the camera. Do you think there's a, any kind of a double standard going on here? Well, I don't, I don't know if you can say there's a double standard between Democrats or Republicans, women or men. Obviously, she had a different strategy, and her strategy was to be folksy and to try to speak over the moderator and over the questions that were asked. But the reality is I really believe, honestly, in Michigan, we are hurting so bad. We don't want to hear just, um, you know, by golly, aw, shucks, doggone it. We want to hear... What are you going to do to help everyday citizens? Barack Obama, Joe Biden, they're going to offer a middle class tax cut. Middle class, anybody under, uh, earning under $250,000 will not get an increase in taxes. In fact, the middle class, 95% of working families are going to be benefited. Now, they can say that, you know, Barack Obama is going to raise your taxes, et cetera, but have, independent studies have shown that his tax, cut, his tax cut proposal, his tax proposal overall, will benefit everyday citizens three times more than McCain. I just want people to know the, the facts. I think that's what people out there want to see. Whether Sarah Palin can wink at everybody and try to charm them to death, I think that that's a question of style over substance. And at this point, people are tired of style. They want to know what are the facts that are going to help right. me as an everyday citizen. Governor, we have to stop there. I want to thank all of you for a very uh, enlightening discussion this morning.